Caitlyn being a sniper type champion should be an assassin, right? I mean, she's an AD carry, but I'm gonna turn her into an assassin. We're playing against Nautilus Seraphine, which is quite annoying if you ask me. Oh, Bard, where are you? Please come. Alright, 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 we're fine. Um, or we're not fine. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, we are fine. We're super fine. Okay, uh, better than expected, but yeah. Hello for the misfortune, it's over on YouTube. We are live streaming every Sunday, but not today, because I'm just playing a, a quick game in between. And uh, link is in the description if you want to see that. But right now, ooh, hang on. The flash Q, like a champ. Oh, Bard, what did you do? <laughs> Walking straight into her damage. Anyway, um, link to the stream in the description. Join. You won't regret it. And I think I want my E here. Just to be extra safe. But yeah, I got a kill. Cost me my flash, but it was definitely worth. And we are going to go for a full armor penetration lethality build. Making our Qs and our ultis very strong. And also our headshots with passive are quite nasty with this. Uh, didn't land that one. Okay, Bart's on his way, so as everyone else. Okay. Yeah, we just chill. We abuse our range. Get some poke. Careful. Yeah, we can trade very aggressively. Because of fleet footwork and everything. It's such a great rune. So good for early aggression. Especially on Caitlyn. Or on similar champions. On Jin as well. Like, you could be greedy and get Dark Harvest here, but... All the other runes are just so good. They solve a lot of problems. Oh. Oh god, speaking of problems. I think, I, well, I thought I could just go there and bait for Nidalee, but Renga was right here and I get hooked and now I'm dead. This is not the item page, by the way. I just have this randomly because I forgot to create a custom one. But uh, yeah, we're going Dustblade into Collector into Lord Dominic's Regards and then Infinity Edge. Should be a very nice build. I'm on my way. Okay, I'm there for all the other minions. I can't join, obviously. Oh no, did I ruin my minions? Ah, almost, but not quite. We just push. And yeah, if you get caught out of position like I just did, then kind of rough. Caitlyn is not the ch not a champion where you can just bait easily and get away with it. Especially when a Rengar is behind that. Maybe she falls for the trap. Yes, she did. That's a lot of health. All right, Renga topside, Bar topside, Noto topside, everyone topside. I can just do my thing here. Yeah, we clear the wave and then harass Seraphine. Serrated Dark, such a strong component. Best component item you can have. And this is also a big reason to just go for the fallacy because Dirk is so strong. Ah, wave clear exists. Not just for me. Yeah, Seraphine's wave clear is good enough to the point where I can't just shove and poke. Because she will clear the wave just as fast. Alright. Maybe I should ward. 
That looks like a good idea. Nice, we got it. Renga is here. Gotta keep that in mind. I wanted to do, th to do that <coughs> to do that while Nautilus was not there, so he couldn't just block some valuable damage in Seraphine. She's way too low to fight now, which was the entire point. Alright. I clear with autos just so I have some more mana left for whatever I need to do. Why did I do this? Just wasted my flash. I knew he was dead as soon as I saw Rengar, so might as well not waste any more resources than we have to. But I will stay here for the wave. They're too low to siege, Seraphine especially. Okay. We get Warhammer plus Boots. Boots are not too important on Caitlyn because you have great defensive tools anyway. I mean early boots, that is. But against a hook champion like Nautilus and Seraphine skill shots, they won't hurt, right? <sighs> That's one of those games, hmm? Four kills, Rengar. 0 and 2, 0 and 1, 0 and 2. We can still easily turn it around, but it still doesn't look good right now, of course. In any case, let's just do our thing. Nice, alright. That worked. It's some counter play we have now. Notus has been gone for ages, it's not a secret. Team pretending like they don't know. Oh wait, Vard is ping missing. Okay. I thought teammates were complaining that we didn't ping. <laughs> I somehow missed all melee minions with that Q. <laughs> right, there we go. No, you can't just tank my spells, bro. Keep her visible. Yep. That's what my ult does. Yeah. Just press R and Akali cannot use her shroud anymore. We get all our beautiful minions here. Nautil is on his way, but as long as I have my E it's not really dangerous. Come on, get him. Nice. Take Dragon, is that a call? How dangerous is Akali? Not really, okay. Yes, yeah, so we just take it. Come on, do it. <laughs> oh well. Best play, of course, to recall, because look at my gold, 1.7k. Yeah, we're making a small comeback happen, indeed. 
So we get our Dusk Blade. And actually, let's just get Boots Upgrade. Yeah. Boots is your only source of attack speed in this build, but it should be sufficient. And it's a nice little power spike here in the early game. Well, if you want to still call it early game, that is. It's, we're entering the mid game at this point. A team of 0 and 4. What are you doing? Alright. Let's get some wards. Okay, Rengar topside. But still. Yeah, we wave clear now and try to pressure the tower. Ah, close. Would have been a kill thanks to my traps. Yeah, it's fine. Back off Akalius here. Nice little chunk with dust bed trigger. So many people here again. Gotta be careful. Okay, Noto is leaving Rengar mid lane. I don't think Akali is here too. Yeah, clear the wave and pressure the tower. Because that's what Caitlyn does. We can get at least one plating, maybe two. Ten more seconds for the plating. Got it. The damage. And we're not done yet. It's only the first lethality item. Yeah, kind of dangerous. All the people being here. Okay, <clears throat> at the end of the day, we're Caitlyn. We're just extremely safe no matter what happens. Okay, three down. Nice. Still goes through, of course. Huge damage. I should have popped my potion, that would have been way less close. But hey, if it works, it works. <laughs> if it works, it works. Alright, let's back off. Rengar is topside, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, they used their summoners, I think, all of them. So we just keep stacking that lethality. Whew. Oh, I should have taken the tunnel, of course, but it is what it is now. Already two, or <clears throat> already 250 gem, uh, damage from, no, 225 damage from Dustblade, but it's still quite noticeable. I mean, it's more than this, probably. Oh, no, not even close. Okay, it's multi-target and no cooldown, so yeah, makes sense. Ah, I lose a minion for no reason. No to the top side. Let's see if we can harass Seraphine a little bit. <laughs> the 
the damage. <laughs> it actually worked. <laughs> wow, Seraphine, wow. I thought I thought there's no way she falls for this, but she kind of did. Well, if they surrender like this, then we just do it again. So, game <laughs> number two versus Jinx. And now we have kind of a weird team composition with Anita Lee supports. And a Kane top lane. But we should be fine, we should be fine. So, I swapped runes a little bit. I, sw I went for um, Coup de Grasse instead of Cutdown. Because of the Senna matchup, of course in champ select I couldn't see that she was going for tank Senna and the likes. But um, I'm not too uh, optimistic with Nidalee. But we'll see. Mid level 2. And that's nice. Okay. Yeah, she needs to land her spears and stuff. It's poke versus poke, kind of, the lane matchup. But neither these spears are so easy to avoid. I'm pretty confident that this won't amount to much. <laughs> well, it's fine. Oh, actually, she hit one. Or no, that was a trap. I just saw the first strike go off. Oh god, I misprepared my minions. Yes, she did not get the cannon. Nice instant advantage. We can be a little bit more aggressive, actually. I have Fleet Footwork, such a great rune in lane. Ah, that was stupid. I need to save some mana. Nice, she got it. Alright! So far the lane's going quite well, but we should probably ward here because, uh, I mean, Kathos ganks are whatever. But uh, still, we should respect. Just tag them for some mana with Presence of Mind. Yeah, I saw. I popped Ghost. <laughs> sure, my friend. Sure. Great value. In general, their team is quite squishy. Okay, she flashed. Unfortunate. My traps were super poorly placed. Get that, and found the wave under tower, I'd say. Yeah, I also reacted too late to Nidalee's all-in. To be fair, she hadn't pinged, so... Um, I wasn't aware of her plans, naturally. Alright, we can probably push one more wave when I get to 60 mana for a Q. Kind of <laughs> not clean, but it's kind of there. Um, we hopefully don't get this. Yeah, send a. Oh, okay, it's not under tower. So it's quite bad, actually. But it is what it is now. We don't have flash, so I don't mind getting boots here. Well, Caitlyn is always kind of safe with her net and stuff, but I like boots on her. So we go for the exact same build. I updated the page. It's also another day I haven't played in a while. <laughs> you can see from my hair, I haven't even showered today. But I passed my final exam at university. My final, final exam. No more exams in my life. So I don't even care. I'm just going to play some League now. Then cre create some TikToks and I don't know. Facebook Reels, <laughs> YouTube Shorts, and then have a good day. <laughs> Alright, we 
will take all these beautiful minions. Okay, she baited me. Yeah, I should play more passively 1v2. Okay, need to be looking for something. Jinx items are not too shabby either. She's good with boots. It's more fun with Caitlyn to play against champions who can't defend themselves from your poke. Oh my goodness. That combo with the serrated dark, that stings a lot. Like, really. Got ults. It's quite nice in this lane because neither of them wants to block it, really. Took a billion from that. Yeah, it, I mean, again, of course it's better for them to not let Jinx die, but Senna taking that much damage is also lane losing for them. Because they can't stay now. Or they get dived. Plus they need to avoid the constant barrage. <laughs> it's only getting better from here. Yeah, they will lose CS for this. There's no way staying is viable. Karthus is here, okay. Maybe he bails them out. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Come on, Kha'Zix, we can do it. They're all so low. Nice. And they lose the Kana minion. wave and then recall perfect so we get pickaxe plus dagger or can we get crit cloak crit cloak I don't like them typically in the early game because they can mess up your farm oh wait we're not even <laughs> we're not rushing collector what am I saying <laughs> We go dust bait first. Uh, for some reason, I in my mind, I wanted to rush Collector, which probably isn't even that bad. But dust bait is so juicy on Caitlyn. Just triggering it over and over on the 15 second cooldown, because you can always walk up with your range and force the trade on them. But yeah, this is fine. Some attack speed also not too shabby. As you can see, we will late, late game move towards seal items to also set up our boots sail without losing too much kiting power. In the late game, we have so much AD, it's not even funny anymore. Gathering storm and all the items. So, going for more seal items, certainly. Okay, I took a lot of damage for that. Well, I have some lifesteal and I have a fleet, so who even cares? Crazy damage. And she allowed me to get the fleet proc on a champion instead of a minion, which is quite juicy. Oh, that's funny.
Tried to get Jinx with that, but she dodged it. Alright, ATCS to 103. We're still ahead, even though Jinx got two kills. Uh, well, she's, in terms of gold, yeah, she, she's probably slightly ahead, but not by much. This center is not getting stacks at all. Are they base? Huh, well, we pressure. Oh, that hits. Crazy. Pressure the tower a little bit. <sighs> Huge damage. Senna's at like 20% HP. Ah, oh, 30-ish. I want to get him low enough for my ults to actually secure a kill. Oh, well, if they leave lane, that's fine too. We're fine. Go one more plating. That's enough. All right, we can get a huge item power spike here. But our enemy is kind of fed. Both solo lanes are winning. And Jinx also got two kills for some reason. Ah, it is what it is now. And we are ready to rumble. <laughs> Tier two boots means we have even more movement speed. And movement speed scales with range, kind of, because movement speed also increases your effective range, makes your high base range even harder to deal with for them. Hmm. Come on, Kane, you got this. Or not. At least Karthus doesn't have R to execute him. <laughs> Which is something, you know. It's alright. Well played, Jinx, avoiding the headshots. And the dust blade. <laughs> Alright, we wanna proc it. Senna is also not there. Okay, Jinx. Unironically, that Nidalee support is putting in more work than their Senna. Gets them well out of lane. All right, good damage. Well, that hits me. He got me with one. There we go. This is why you always place the trap behind the, or not behind, but in the way that the tower blocks it visually. So the enemy is more likely to step on it because, well, if it's not there, it's, then if you can't see it, it's not there, right? <laughs> Beautiful little dust blade proc. The damage. Yeah, you can't out-kite Caitlyn, really. Not yet. In the very late game, when both of them have more range than I do, then maybe. But not right now. I got ults if they stay, but they don't. I take one more wave and then recall for some items.
I wanted to press R on that. Jinx probably would have lived. Oh no. Not the cannon. Bro. What are you doing? She could have just based. My R takes too long to channel. Her base was almost through. So. Oh well, I don't complain when I get a free kill like this. But I really should back off now. And get my items. Get my components. Alright, so I think we have a nice counterbalance in the bot lane now to the mid lane disasters. And our solo lane disasters what we have here in our team. But, I mean, we're... We're still not... I mean, we will see in the mid-game how we fare against the hyper-fed Katarina and Jax. Well, not hyper-hyper-fed, but still decently fed. Okay, if they play like this, then... Sure. He lives, though. Or does he? Nice. Alright. I got ults. I'll just press it. Good damage. Maybe it leads to a kill. Doesn't. Alright. Anyway, let's start the siege. Caitlyn's super good at sieging. Man, I overstepped so hard. Didn't see Katarina. Tried to greet for some damage. And this is my price. Okay, if I play like this, then that's quite bad. Yeah, okay, I, I paid no attention whatsoever, I'm sorry. <coughs> I mean, mistakes... <coughs> mistakes happen, so... It's alright. I should forgive myself. But I don't think I sell Dorans here as much as I'd like upgrading to Collector. I think just farming a little and then recalling is better. <coughs> For sure, actually. Doran's item. Had I had cut down here, then maybe <laughs> as an argument. But I mean, even then, Doran's is a lot of stats. Oh, come on, dude. All right. Mm. I hoped she would just jump onto the trap, but it didn't happen. <laughs> oh man, okay, I played the fire here. Yeah, they're quite dangerous. I should just... I should not try to kite with them. If they jump, they want shots because they're so fed. 11 kills now. To be fair, some of that is my fault now. But, um, I mean, it doesn't change the way I need to play around her. Just need to be super safe. <sighs> Kinda looks like we need some magic resist, but with this build, I don't want to deviate from my damage. For my damage path. And yeah, against K uh, Katarina, we just need to stay at range. Dragon would be nice. That's a good win condition here. Getting them souls. Fine, they are. Let's farm mid lane. I see Katarina, she's probably looking for me, isn't she? Just hover so she doesn't jump on Nidale. 
I mean, can I really prevent it? <laughs> Probably not. Just attack move, so if she jumps, she gets attacked instantly. Okay, she doesn't. And again, I need to be very careful around her. Okay, I need to be I need to be not on the same screen as her. <laughs> it's the only solution I can think of. Ah, <sighs> rough. She's way too mobile. Yeah, okay, just avoid Katarina as much as possible. Maybe if my team engages, I can ult from range and whatnot. But if she ever sees me, I'm instantly dead. Ooh, we might get it. Or not. <laughs> or not. Alright. Unlucky. Anyone I can at uh, attack here? I don't think so. I can each, each of them can body block, pretty much. So there's no real point. Almost. Uh, I'm in ult range if Nidalee gets something. They're on Baron right now. So we can take another wave. Wait, they did not do Baron? Very crazy. That was the freest Baron ever. What can we do about it? <laughs> they just take it and that's it. Well, they can still take it in like a minute or two. Okay, that's Katarina, so I just bail. There's no point trying to contest that. Arthur's actually saved her life with that ult. Man, that's frustrating. I thought I had her, but... Zonyas was just long enough for... Okay, there we go. That's also very good. Zonyas just long enough, so I couldn't trap her with headshots. She got trapped, sure, but when I'm dead, I can't auto-attack. And that's quite the problem. But we finally shut her down, which is also very valuable. 0 and 6, 0 and 8, you. Uh, solo lanes are not going to carry this game. But we dealt a nice amount of damage to her, despite her being fed with HP and armor and damage reduction. And once we hit Lord Doms, it should be... quite dangerous for her to approach us as well. at our farm. I don't know where Katarina is, so I'm a little bit in danger. Should probably just move out of vision. Okay, now I see her. Soul point for us. Wow, that was terrible. I got blocked. <sighs> yeah, okay. We lose Dragon here. Wait, Katarina died? We can win the fight now. Without Katarina, they're not even that strong. Ah, 
they get the Drake. Unlucky. Nidalee really just needs to get out of there. <sighs> what a move. The great escape, huh? Oh my goodness. Actually a monster. <laughs> Alright. Alright, buddy. You go, girl. We can definitely win. If Katarina keeps making mistakes... But I need to stop making mistakes. That's also important. That was quite close, actually. Shouldn't have risked. Okay, I see Katarina, so I can take this wave. <laughs> Ooh, the crit was too much. The cannon was overprepared. Ouch. Don't want to go too deep, actually. It's quite dangerous. I should have taken the portal, too. Okay, but they don't follow. We're so far behind in terms of kills. There we go. Use jungle monsters for fleet footwork. For good healing. You can be a little aggressive here because Katarina's still dead. Maybe take Baron. Doesn't sound too bad, huh? All right. Definitely winnable. Again, Katarina is playing this quite poorly, which really helps. Maybe I just get Bloodthirster after IE. Would be better for the one-shots, of course, and the shield's also quite useful here, I think. I failed my stupid spell. Which almost cost me. Well, it cost me my flash, but almost cost me my life. Let's soften her up a little bit. She takes so little damage to death stance and everything. Meanwhile, though. Ooh, you're dead. Oh no, I trapped too late. Wasn't in range. Should be fine. Need a heal. All right. Boy.
Nice, that's soul for us. Yeah, they're busy mid lane with supers. Karthus is there. Yeah, yeah, we get this. Perfect. I could base for BF Sword, but it also just stay at full resources. Uh, by resources, I mean mana and health. Wish I had taken cut down. It's such a great rune on Caitlyn, but I greed it for stronger early game. I'm dead. I tried to outplay, but she played it smart. I was overextended anyway. I shouldn't have stayed there. Tough game to play. A fed assassin is always such a pain for an AD carry. Uh, quad era demonstrandum. Evidently. Man. Katarina going wild here. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're, we're still not... I mean, we're still behind in kills. We mustn't forget that. We're still weaker than their solo laners. <sighs> Maybe I can help. Was worth a try. I'd say at least. We should push side lanes. Mid lane doesn't really accomplish much. Whenever there's an inhibitor already down, you don't want to be in that lane because you can't really gain much. You want to take the towers, and when there are no towers, you can't take them. <laughs> in bot lane, top lane, there are towers. So you want to take them. We're gonna go there. And we won't stay here. I just always push past River Rome now. So no one can assassinate me. Okay, he knows. Alright, what you should do here is kite away from them. Oh, I need to heal. Yeah. <laughs> nice! The build worked! <laughs> Huge burst. Just auto as much as possible for lifesteal. Yeah, now Senna's and Jinx's range is bigger than mine. Is anyone guarding this tower? I don't think so. Baron is juicy, but I mean, if I've committed for staying for the wave. God, how dead am I? Very. They're too fast. Man, okay, yeah, I, I didn't take the portal into account. That's my bad. 18 kills, Katarina. <laughs> boy, oh boy. I like the feel of the build, though. True Sniper Caitlyn. Of course it's abusable, because no defenses, but I mean, that's true for most AD carry builds. I 
But yeah, now we got Baron and Drake's soul. We're still down 10 kills, but... Baron buff is Baron buff, and Drake's soul is Drake's soul. You can't really... I mean, we're also all approaching full build, so kills hardly matter anymore. Okay. Yeah, so taking inhibitor. <laughs> Deleted. I didn't expect that ult to kill, if I'm honest. But I'm happy it did. I like being on theme with my videos. And no chance, yeah. Once she sets eye on me, I'm just dead. I don't I don't run fast enough. How fast is she? She has her movement speed and her spells, and she has 400 base movement speed. Yeah, okay. I can't. And when I auto her to slow her with soul, then I'm in range for her jump, kind of, and then I'm just dead anyway, so yeah. If I can't cleanly E away for the slow, then she always gets me, and even then, she might still get me in some cases. But anyway, we got Elder now, too. We got Two inhibitors down, all we need to do is push in this top lane tower and then we should win. Yeah, pretty simple game plan. I just need to stick with the team and not get deleted by Katarina all the time. That'd be... That, that, that's my burden now, that's my job. My job is don't get deleted. <laughs> And keep deleting that poor Jinx. How is she on three items at 40 minutes? She should be full build by now. No matter how lane went. I'm approaching. Almost in ult range. If only I had Elder buff too, then she would be dead here. Oh god, I should have taken the portal, now I'm dead to Katarina again. Am I? Very well. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Katarina is still full HP. Need to be careful. It's just crazy though how strongly you counter. Zonyas with your traps. Okay, let's get more items. I, I, we could. I mean, we're both low. We probably shouldn't risk. Oh, I can steal this though. I like that. Okay, yeah, we should still just push in top lane. Grab this and this, and we are at 500 AD. 501 actually, 501 AD, 80% crit, 30 lethality, 30% armor penetration, we are hitting like a truck. Not even mentioning that soul thing we have. Should probably just stack up my shields. Guess we still die. I thought that was a ward. Wards should have an 
should should have the same silhouettes, no matter which ward skin. It was a Jax this time around. Some ward skins have such weird silhouettes. I was sure it was just a control ward in the bush, but it was Jax. I feel a little bit scammed right now. For example, that crab thing ward has such a weird silhouette. And it's not the only one. Some of them look super bulky, like a champion, pretty much. And this is what I thought would happen, would happen here. If they keep them busy, Yasuo can just pressure their base, right? Yeah, Jack's recalling, but it's too late at this point. They take Baron, but at what cost? Jack's might, f er, Yasuo might finish here. Yeah, okay, GG. We definitely had our moments this game, but we got bullied by uh, Katarina for the most part. And Nidalee? Really impressive. I mean, I, ha I hadn't... I didn't even dare to believe in, in her pick, but she kinda... She, she... She did her thing. She dominated. Anyway, for more AD Carry content, click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.